Hi, it's Mark from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and WinningSolutionsInc.com, and today I'm going to take you through our uh, employee scheduling database. So when you uh, get the demo downloaded, uh, which we encourage you to do, uh, because uh, when you purchase this, you get all the code that the programmer used to make it, which is not the case with most programs that you buy. Um, that means that you're actually able to modify the way it's programmed and fully modify it, um, not just control certain features through a control panel, but you can actually change the, uh, the way the database works completely. So uh, when, you, when you get it downloaded, uh, you'll start off with a zip file and depending on uh, what zip software you have installed on your PC, the icon might be a little bit different. And if you're not familiar with zip files, we've got other videos on how to work with those. But once you've unzipped it, you're ready to run the database and check it out to see if it's going to be a good fit for you. So let's get it running. All right, here's the database. Now, you're going to get this security warning, which is typical of any Microsoft Office file that you would download, whether it's Excel or Word or an Access database. But just go ahead and tell it to open it. That'll be just fine. And then we've got a little uh, survey here for you. But if you uh, don't wish to complete that, you can just uh, exit or go through it if you wish. All right. So here we're at the main menu of, of our database. Now, the important thing to remember is this is not necessarily uh, designed to be the world's most complete and full-featured employee shift scheduling database. What it's designed to be is a template to give you a framework or a head start or a foundation to modify or customize to create one that works perfectly for your business or organization. Um, however, you, know, you might find that this is perfectly complete the way it is, and if that's the case, uh, that's great. Now, if you are going to be making modifications to it, uh, you do need to have a certain degree of access skill uh, in terms of access database creation and modification. And if you don't have that skill, there are lots of folks that do, and you can certainly uh, have one of them help you with the database. Uh, or if you can't find someone in your area to assist you, you can contact us, and we will uh, get you a quote for uh, doing the customizations that you need to the database. All right, let's just start right here with the maintenance and lookups. So this is where you control the various uh, sets of information that are in the database. So uh, in your organization, uh, you may or may not have uh, multiple departments. And if you, but if you do, uh, you can name them anything you like, uh, and you can add additional uh, add an additional department by going right here and just uh, putting in the name of it you want. And there we go. So you can also manage uh, your employees that you're going to be scheduling. So you can uh, put their name in here in the first column. And, uh, and then there's a code for them as well, which uh, may or may not be applicable in your situation. And you can say which department they belong to. And you can uh, default the calendar view for, for what they get. And you can have um, many employees in here. There's uh, not really any specific limit. There are certain limits to database sizes, but they're really huge. Um, so there's uh, you know no licensing change by the number of employees. So you might find other systems like this cost more money the more employees you put in. And this one really doesn't work that way. OK, so uh, if you have uh, different locations, uh, here's where you set those up. It's in, it's set up in the same manner as the departments are set up. And you may have different types of work. So, you know, you might have office work or uh, shop floor work or on-site work or whatever it is. Anyway, you can specify all those right here. So when you're done specifying those, you just hit close. And then, uh, then we can move on to the... Uh, search employee schedule here and so once you have all your employees scheduled and you want to look up what one of them is scheduled for you can do this by specifying various uh, criteria uh, start dates end dates uh, which employee uh, that sort of thing and then you just run the search um, or you can export the search results to Microsoft Excel you can export them to Outlook uh, you can export them to an Outlook task uh, you can print detail or print summary. So very versatile. And again, all of this can be modified. So if it isn't to your liking, you will be able to change it. All right. Let's look at the calendar setup here a little bit. So you have some control without having to be a programmer in how things are displayed. 
So you can uh, select your uh, start times and end times for a week. You can select your increments of time. Uh, you can uh, select your date format. So all of this is kind of handy and how time is displayed. So you can configure all of this without doing any programming. All right, let's look at the export quick. It's not really exciting, but um, once you have a bunch of data in here, you might want to export it. And so you can create a, a file that would go into Outlook. So if the person wanted to put this information from your schedule here into their Outlook calendar, it would be possible for them to do that. All right, let's uh, look at the calendar view here. So right now, this is, looks rather similar to an, a Microsoft Outlook calendar where you've got uh, a day view, but you also have week view, bi-weekly view, and monthly view. So if we just switch to the monthly view here, there's a common friendly calendar. And if you had lots of people scheduled, they'd be showing up on here. Obviously, there are some limitations if you have you know, a thousand different people displayed here on the 3rd of April. Uh, you know, it's not going to be able to display all of them right there, but they will be in the database. Okay, so with that done, we can jump back to the main menu here and uh, we can look at how we would add a schedule entry. So this is probably one of the most heavily used forms in the system. And so you would start by uh, picking an employee. Uh, then you would select a uh, work type and then you select the location that they'll be working at. And then just like you would set up a meeting or anything else in Outlook, you just enter a start time and an end time. And the, uh, the date goes over here and the time goes over here. And whether it's an all day event, you can put in notes about it. And then once that's been entered, it shows up on the schedule and you can enter as many as you would like. All right, now we've also got an import function. So, uh, you know, perhaps you already have uh, people scheduled in Outlook and you want to consolidate um, different Outlook schedules <laughs> into uh, this database, you can do that and you would use this function to do that. So uh, as you can see, uh, it's a very uh, solid little starting ready to go system. And again, it may be perfectly suited for your needs or uh, you may need uh, to modify it. Now, uh, here at Winning Solutions, uh, the people behind the MicrosoftAccessExpert.com website, um, we can build, uh, you know, if this database isn't what you want or you need something totally different, um, or this gives you an idea for another database that's just completely different from this, uh, we can build that for you too. Uh, Microsoft Access is a really great tool. Um, if you need something like this, but uh, you don't want it to run in Access, you want it to run um, on the internet or as a mobile app or something like that, we can help you with that too. But Microsoft Access is very, very popular because a lot of people who aren't uh, high-level programmers are actually able to work with Microsoft Access, and so that's why it's still a very popular system, even though mobile and web are, are very popular today. So uh, if you have questions or want to talk to us about this, we you know feel free to contact us. If you go to our website at winningsolutionsinc.com or microsoftaccessexpert.com, you'll find uh, plenty of ways to contact us. You can uh, chat with us online, call us, email us, fill out a contact form. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about our work and, and these database templates. And so uh, with that, I uh, wish you a good day. Thank you.